Oh, I love this video. <laughs> <laughs> Becky? <laughs> Becky? Becky? <gasps> oh my gosh, Beck. <clears throat> you like pushed me off the bed. Are you okay? <sighs> yeah, I will be. I will be. Ouch. <clears throat> I'm sorry, did I hurt you? Just my dignity. What's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? Yeah, something like that. What do you mean something like that? Nothing. I just don't want to talk about it, okay? I'm going to go talk to mom. You're going to talk to mom about your dream, but you're not going to talk to me about it? I thought we were closer than that. I'll tell you when you're older. Oh, so your dream now has an age policy? Well, listen, really, this is no time to be sarcastic with me, okay? <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> hey, Mom. Have a bit. What's wrong, honey? Well, it's that time of year. What are you talking about? You know about what happened with me and dad? Oh, honey. Yeah, I had the nightmare already. I was taking a nap and I had the nightmare. Sweetie, I'm sorry. Are you all right? I don't know. Larissa's getting curious about why I'm having bad dreams at this time every year. I'm just not ready to tell her. Well, honey, I can't read your mind, but does you think it's time you told Larissa what happened? I mean, your father was her father, too. Yeah, but she was just a baby when it happened. I know, sweetie. But she is 10 years old now. I'm sure she could handle it, and she could probably be good comfort for you. I can only comfort you so much because I loved the man. Even after what he did to me? Well, he died shortly after. To be honest, if he was alive... I probably would have divorced him, but I still would have cared about him. Even though he tried to, yes. I don't know what to think of you right now. I mean, how can you date some, honey, it doesn't matter because he's dead, okay? In the meantime, talk to your sister about it. I can't. I don't want to scare her. Honey. There's nothing she would be afraid of. Your father is out of your life. It's out of all of our lives. I think it's time you tell her. Why can't you tell her? Because I wasn't there when it happened. I think she... I think it would affect her more if she heard it from you. Okay. Larissa, I really need to talk to you. <clears throat> About what? Put your laptop away. What is it, Becky? <clears throat> well, I was waiting for the right time to tell you. Tell me what? <clears throat> Do you ever wonder why we don't have a dad? Well, Mom told me he died. That's true, isn't he? Isn't it? Yes, but that's not the whole story. What do you mean? Okay, I have something to tell you that I've been hiding from you. Hiding from me? When I was around four, around this time of the year, and you were just a baby, okay? Um, Dad, um... What? He, um, he what? Touched me in inappropriate places. And 
he held me down when I tried to escape. And every time I tried to escape, he would... God, this is so hard. Well, I know it's hard, but you'll feel better once you get it out. Especially because you started to tell me. You can't leave me hanging. Larissa, this isn't a pretty story. I don't care. You're my sister and I care about you. If you don't feel comfortable sharing this with me, then why did you start to in the first place? Might as well finish. <sighs> well, Dad touched me in inappropriate areas, and whenever I tried to get up, like he was on top of me, and whenever I tried to get up, he would try to suffocate me. My God, where was I? I told you, you were only a baby. You were asleep in the next room. Well, where was Mom? I don't know, she was out in the market or something, but while this was happening, at some point, Mom did come in, and she saw what happened, and she called the police, and, and what? Before the police got there, Dad had, had what? Stabbed himself. Oh my God, really? No, I'm making it up. Well, that's not fair. Larissa! Of course I'm not making it up. But you just said... Stop being so ignorant. I knew I shouldn't have told you. You'll never understand. I'm 10 years old, not 10 months old. I understand. I'm sorry that happened to you, but what else do you want me to say? I'm sorry. It's just that... It was so scary that every year during this time, I had the nightmare about it. You don't know what it's like to have that memory. You're right, I don't know what it's like, and I'm sorry you do. Yeah. But I also have a confession to make. What? You know how your friends have been saying to you, I feel bad for you, your sister? Yeah, I don't see what they meant by that. You didn't tell them about the incident, did you? Kind of. Like I told a bit the older siblings about it, and they must have told your friends. And um, that's how they know. So my friends knew all about this, but not me? It's not my fault. It's, it pretty much is, because you're, if you're so scared about what happened, why do you have to dwell on it? I mean, if I went through something like that, I would try not to obsess over it and feel sorry for myself. I don't feel sorry for myself. I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want to scare you. And I didn't want you to feel sorry for me. I just thought you should know. Why? Well, you're the one that said you wanted to know what was going on with me. What do you want me to do? <sighs> Look. If you want your friends to know what happened, that's fine. But keep my friends out of it. <sighs> Larissa, what's going on? Why are you fighting with your sister? Of course, it's my fault. Honey, I didn't say it was anybody's fault. I'm just asking why are you and your sister arguing? Larissa? What's wrong? Did your sister tell you? Yeah, she told me, and she told my friends about it without me knowing. Because for the past year, my friends kept saying, I feel bad for your sister, I feel bad. And, at first, and I didn't even know what they were talking about. And when I asked them, they're like, you know what it is, don't mention it. So your friends probably thought you knew about what happened. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you or Rebecca tell me until now? Honey, we just didn't want to scare you. Mom, I'm 10 years old. It takes a lot to scare me. <sighs> I know, honey. Look, I'm sorry that you found out the way you did. But I, we thought we were doing the right thing. Yeah? Well, you thought wrong. Obviously, I did think wrong. You're absolutely right. How can I make it up to you? You don't have to make it up to me. Just 
promise me that whatever goes on, all three of us will get through together. You don't have to leave me out on things like this. You're right. It's time I start treating you like the big girl you are. I've been treating you like a baby for too long now. It's just that you're my last baby, and I guess I wanted to keep it that way. But I have to face facts. You're a big girl now, and I got to start, start treating you like one. Really? Really. I guess I was hard on Rebecca, too. That's not being a big girl. I better go talk to her. Go ahead. Becky? Hey. Can I talk to you? I'm listening. I mean, can I really talk to you? Sit on your bed and I'll be off the computer in a minute. Okay. What's up? I'm sorry I got mad at you about not telling me about what happened between you and Dad. I know you were just trying to protect me, and I should have realized that, and I'm sorry. It's okay. I shouldn't have waited, like, ten years to, to tell you. I really didn't want to scare you, though. That's not what I was mad about. What I was mad about was that you told my friends about what happened to you. And my friends keep saying, I feel bad for your sister. I feel bad for your sister. And I had no idea what they were talking about. I shouldn't have told your friends that, and I'm sorry. Why did you do that? Do you want everybody to feel bad for you? I don't know. Talking about it helps. Why couldn't you talk to me? Wouldn't I have been helpful? Yeah, you would have been. And you are helpful. I just didn't realize it, and I'm sorry. It's, it's fine. I'm over it, kind of. <laughs> and I'm kind of over the nightmare until next year. Maybe next year you won't have the nightmare because you're telling me. Maybe. Look, I'll always be there for you. Whether you had the nightmare or not. I mean, I was there for you when you had the nightmare just before. Wasn't I? Yeah, you were. But I'm really sorry I kept this from you. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I love you, Larissa. I love you, too.